What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another 130 draft challenge. That is right, today we're going to try and tackle the 130 draft challenge. I had already had this video uploaded and so sorry it's a bit late today, but I had to redo it and I also had tomorrow's video made and I even had the next day's video made and I was well gassed with myself because I'd got ahead. But the reason why I'm remaking this one and deleted the next two and we'll have to remake those is because I had an issue with my mic that I didn't even pay attention to. I didn't realize, but the uh, I I somehow have messed up the the. Uh, what's it called? The gain on the mic. And so basically I was like dropping my audio was dropping out at the end of sentences and such, and it just made for a horrible listening experience. And so, although I did already set live a couple of videos today, ooh, give me that De Bruyne. Um, although I did already set live a couple of videos for today that I just can't go back and change now because of the way they are, these ones I could. So I'm redoing this one. It's going to be, well, it won't be late. It depends on how when you watched it in the first place. But usually I upload at nine, and it's currently quarter to nine. It should be live probably by about quarter past nine, uh, maybe half past nine at the latest. And uh, yeah, anyway, if you guys are enjoying the content, feel free to drop a thumbs up on the video. If you are new here, feel free to subscribe. And let's get ourselves, if we can, the 130. The thing I was thinking about with the 130 and the thing I'd already discussed with you guys that you will never, ever get to hear. Not because you won't get to watch the video, but because <laughs> I kept dropping. My mic kept dropping. Um, is how hard it actually might be to just get the 130. Now, obviously, we hit the 129, but it didn't really dawn on me until I was building drafts earlier. But to get a 130, we need a 97-rated squad. Now, when it comes to squad building challenges to SBCs or whatever, a 97-rated squad would be... 997s and 296 rated cards. The way that it is on take Poetas, he's very uncommon, isn't he? The way that it works on draft, however, is a bit different because the bench we'll take Pirolo there. The bench is it, it it you don't need as high rated cards on the bench as you do when it comes to just the starting eleven. And so, oh my days, let's go, Lionel Messi. Do I have an Argentinian? Oh, I have Sergio Busquets. Don't need an Argentinian. Let's go. Um, and so, yeah, basically, like, I feel like an average rating of, like, actually, like, around mostly 96s on average is probably going to be what's needed. Um, and that in itself isn't going to be easy to do, in spite of the fact, as we get our first, no, our second 97 for today, we've got Alfonso Davies there. In spite of the fact that there are an insane, and I mean insane amount, of 99s, 98s, and 97s, they just don't pop very often. However, they are beginning to pop right now, which is really nice for us. This is actually a half-decent draft. It's 93 rated. The chemistry is not quite there. We have Yeri Mina in at centre-back, ruining it for everyone. And to be fair, David Alaba is also pretty much ruining it for everyone. Who knows if we can get a new slash better centre-back. I shouldn't have taken that Grimaldo. He doesn't even make the bench. And he's got a way, way, way better card that we probably could have done with instead. But that is the first draft for today. Oh, wow. 97, Hullet. Centre mid or striker is the only spot for him. I suppose centre mid works because he'll give us three bonus chem points. And that is De Bruyne on the bench. Do you know what? When I was building drafts earlier, I was struggling. This draft here seems to be very nice. We've got three 97s, some 96s. Not a bad draft at all. Obviously, it's not an ideal draft and it is going to be very difficult. To get to, uh, what have we got? Austrian or Colombian? Negative. Have we got Syria or La Liga? No, we don't. Yeah, it's going to be difficult. It might be impossible. 
We'll get into a little bit more why in a moment. If you want to be able to afford the best players and open the best packs in FC24, go to u7buy.com to buy your EAFC24 coins. It's cheaper than buying FC points and just as reliable. They already offer some of the best prices out there, but you can get an extra 6% off using promo code NEP at checkout. So guys, as we go into attempt number two, one of the things that is really interesting about trying to get the 130 is where we got to in previous drafts. So tomorrow, you are going to get a retro draft. Or if you're watching this someday, that's not the day I uploaded it. There's a retro draft from FIFA 22 on the channel. As we get ourselves team of the year, Mia Ham right there. When I went to that draft, the 195 was the highest rated. We will take Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, delightful. The 195 was the highest rated. But last year... Of course, the 128 was the highest rated. And so, as I was saying like uh, a moment ago, to get a 130, we need a 97 rated squad. There isn't much room beyond this. If we do manage to get a 130, which I do think it will be possible, I don't think it will be easy, but I do think it will be possible. But if we do manage to get the 130, and this has been a fantastic start to this draft, the next draft after the 130, obviously, of course, is the 131. I'll take Michael Ballack there uh, instead of Zidane, because Zidane's got a 98. Um, yeah, it's the 131. Now, for the 131, we would need a 98-rated squad, and I just don't think that's going to be possible. So I do think that the 130 might be the end it might be the end um i don't know i don't know for sure but i think it might be the end and it's real interesting that we will still persevere we will still try and get a 131 if we get the 130 but what i don't understand about draft and what i wish ea would change and i am a little bit like paranoid a little bit paranoid. Come on, give me a good goalkeeper. 91 is not good enough. I'm a little bit paranoid that next year the draft won't be in the game. And the reason why I'm paranoid about that is because draft used to be a place where you could come and use cards that you would have no chance of using otherwise in the game. That Kanji is very nice for chemistry. Yeah, you'd have no chance, no chance whatsoever of using cards that you could get in draft unless you got extremely lucky or bought loads of fever points or you know grinded the living life out of the game then maybe you'd have a chance but you didn't have a chance in the way fc24 is kind of uh, set up we've got aurelian shoe and many let's go the way fc24 is set up that might be one of the first times i've ever seen him everybody's got way better teams than the drafts that we can create. And I do remember previously in one year, I can't remember what year it was. Ooh, give me that Kong Dog. Has he got centre back as well? No, he hasn't. Um, yeah, I do remember in one year, EA made draft only footies cards. Do you remember that? Where they were only available to be played within draft. We haven't had anything like that again this year. Or if, I don't know. I can't remember if it was last year. Give me... Give me Cruyff because Messi's got a 99. Love that. Um, and so it's... The paranoia is... Dra you pay 15,000 coins to enter the draft. The rewards are nowhere near as good as the menu grind is these days. It's fallen way behind. And so the only appeal to draft is using players you couldn't otherwise afford to get. The way the draft is this year, everyone can afford to get these cards. Everyone's team is already better than this. And so it kind of like inevitably leads me to believe do we have a left back i am tempted to take sosa here because the 92 left back is a huge upgrade i'm going to have to i'm going to have to um yeah it, may, it makes me feel like there is every eventuality that ea just remove draft from the game and that would be really sad for me personally because even if it is just trying to draft a high rated squad you know, obviously the start of the game cycles, we play it a little bit more. We try some players then, you know, it's a little bit more relevant then. But even if it's just for trying to draft the highest rated squads, 
I like draft for that. Has Zanetti got left back? Yes, he has. Let's go. That should put us up to a 94 rated. Oh, it does. And some. Now, this draft is going to be nowhere near the 130. We don't have any 98s or 99s, which is a shame. And, and more to the point, actually, of like... Ooh, that Nedved's nice. More to the point of like what I'm talking about, right? With regards to like... We don't have any 98s or 99s in this draft. We've got mostly 95s and 96s. And a lot of the recent Evos give 95 and 96 rated cards. It, like, not that necessarily, like, the rating of the card is the be-all and end-all. But people want to play with those top-end cards. These are not those. Even though, and I'm going to stop complaining for the next draft, so I do apologise. Even though this draft is actually really cool. And if I was to play with this draft, this would be a fully legit one. We've got Solskjaer, Nedved on the bench, and then a few other stinky players on the bench. That starting 11 is actually fantastic, even the goalkeeper, because Zemic is six foot tall, which is really unusual for some of the female goalkeepers. They're usually quite short, but she's really tall. That is a sick draft. It's not good enough. It's only a 127. So let's get into another. As we go into attempt number three, guys, what I suppose I hope for next year, assuming that EA don't remove it, I'm going to go with the 4 and 2 and 2 narrow. This formation seems so cracked, so cracked. For the draft what i hope from ea next year so long as they don't remove the draft let's take clint dempsey as our captain is updated rewards during the draft throughout the year cycle if they can't do that because of what we've heard through the grapevine that the people that coded the draft no longer work at ea sports and the people that are currently there don't have the kind of time or resources to learn and understand the code to make much changes on it you don't necessarily, let's take Mia Ham again. You don't necessarily have to change the draft rewards within the draft. See how we have daily play right now. Just give us daily draft, right? Win four or six or eight online games. Give us some rewards that are like suitable based on that. That would be just fine. We know you can do that because we've already seen the draft objectives and those are always really, really cool. So I'd like to hope that EA can kind of like Make the rewards next year a little bit more engaging in draft. Maybe reduce the cost price or change the cost price as the year goes on. Or just make sure that the rewards in the menus are kind of up to date with it. But the other thing that I hope that EA do next year with draft is give us more reason to actually log into and play it. Make the kind of player base... I don't want to say that Vidic because he's got a much better card. Make the kind of like players that you get, even if it's only one guaranteed top player from a promo. Right? Imagine when Team of the Year comes out, you're guaranteed a Team of the Year every draft. All of a sudden, I'm really interested because I know I'm going to get one. You know, we're currently at footies. Wouldn't it be nice if we were guaranteed a footies every single draft? Even if that was last week's foot. No, no, this week's footies would be more pro appropriate. Even if it was the worst one, even if it was like Ledley King or Diego Carlos every single time, I don't think people would be upset because you know you're guaranteed one. At least it would give value to logging into the draft. And then finally, EA, yeah, just, just make draft teams better. Look at this for a pick. I mean, Upa Meccano is not bad. Let's be real. But look at this for a pick. Come on. Give us something a bit better, EA. Anyway, as promised, I will stop. <laughs> I will stop complaining. Um, we could put Upa Meccano in here. We could put Upa Meccano in here. We're up to 31 chemistry. This isn't even a bad draft, to be fair. Like I said, when I built drafts earlier, when I built, I, I made three videos today, I finally got ahead. Oh, guys, I can't tell you. I can't explain to you. I genuinely can't explain to you how frustrating it is as a content creator to make mistakes with your content. And that's effectively what I've done, not just today. Josh was telling me, editor Josh was telling me that it's been a few days where I've had issues with my noise gate. And I, I, I didn't really pick up on it because I don't edit my own content. I don't know how bad it is because today Viper's on holiday and I've edited my own content today and yesterday. I can hear it and I'm like, oh my God. It's like, it's really like, 
it's it's almost what has Sane got? Just left mid, right mid. It's almost like ASMR a little bit. It's it's that bad. It's kind it kind of like drops in and drops out. It's like trying to like make love to your ears, but not in a nice way, you know. And so if there's been any issues with the draft, not that yeah, well, and the draft as well, I suppose. If there's been any issues with the draft, um. Or just in general, the content, that's not an upgrade. Um, because of the noise gate over the last couple of days, I sincerely apologise. I've been doing this for far, far too long to have audio issues. Um, but hey, sometimes, sometimes it happens, doesn't it? Sometimes it happens. So, draft number three. This is somehow only a 93 rated draft. I don't know how we are not going to be able to get full chemistry on this one because we need chemistry on let's get him there we need chemistry on Cobell and Oliveira so unless we get a Uruguayan yeah we 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 we, we just didn't get what we needed so let's get into attempt number four. All right, guys, here we go with the fourth and final attempt for today. Let's do let's do the four four one attacking. There's some really quality centre mids now. Like you know, uh, we'll take Mohamed Salah there. We've got a lot of good centre forwards, a lot of good strikers. I mean, there's ninety nines and ninety eights basically in every position. Are we going to get one right here? We are not. We're going to take uh, Patrick Cliver eighty nine there. Can we get a big card here? It's the draft killer. It's Gianfranco Zola in a left mid. <sighs> Nanasi. At least he's got right mid as well. And this is like, isn't it actually quite surprising to a degree that we haven't seen a single 99 or even possibly 98 rated card this entire draft today? And let me just take you through the volume of 99s and 98s that there are eligible in draft. At 99, there is Hansen, Pele, Neymar, Utelas, Messi. Give me the 96, though. Van Dijk, Wurz, De Paul, and Pedri. In at 98, which, again, we've seen none of, there is Rolfo, best... Jezinho, Smith, Martinez, De Bruyne. We'll take David Soria there. Hernandez, Musiala, Bellingham, Mbappe, Lo Celso, Camavinga, Ronaldo, Ronaldinho, Zidane, Cruyff, Jonathan David. I'm not going to take that Ronaldo there. Um, Jonathan David, Carvajal, McAllister, Palmer, Olmo, Alvarez, Saka, Salaba, and Rivaldo. And Dalglish as well. And that's not even including the 97s. There are so many 98s and 99s available to draft. EA, why are you refusing to give them to us? I would genuinely play a few drafts. Genuinely play a few drafts. If we had, if if I was hitting like of all those players that I've just like listed up there, if I hit like two or three of those, in a draft, there is no doubt in my mind that I'd be like itching to play said draft because it would just be like, yeah, do you know what? I'm about it. I'm about it. Look at these cool cars. Like like a couple of days ago. When we played of R9, well, actually yesterday, when we played of R9, St. Maximin, I remember who else was there. There was a few really good players there. It was just good. I didn't have to play the whole draft out either. I'm not sitting there sweating it out. I don't care about the win of the draft. I care about the enjoyment of playing with the players. I'm going to take Schweinsteiger there over uh, Pushkas just because he's got a much better card. Um, but unfortunately, EA just aren't delivering, guys. And I do appreciate that today has been a bit of a moan fest. And I do apologise, mostly. Um, but 
Such is life. Hey, such is life. It's a bit frustrating the way that EA kind of uh, don't do anything with draft. Um, but we're still going to build them and try and get that 130, right? That's what we're here for. It's why we're around. Let's take David Trezeguet. I actually think we lose. I oh, know because we took the Spanish uh, Spanish goalkeeper out. This isn't even a bad draft, to be fair. This might be a 1-2-7 in the end. But full of, like, enjoyable players. It's not even a 1-2-7. And through all of that, we did not get a single 98 or 99 rated player. And we need a Danish manager to get a 1-2-7 for today. Which we did get. GG's to us. We are ending this draft video on a 127. As always, thank you guys very much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And I will see you next time. I'm out. Peace.